Hello, welcome to SourceCAD. Uh, in this video, I will make a 3D uh, earphone with AutoCAD. So let's get started. Switch to 3D modeling workspace. If you are not in 3D modeling workspace, then click on this drop down menu and change it to 3D modeling. You can also go to 3D modeling workspace by clicking this gear icon and changing it to 3D modeling. Now, once you are in 3D modeling workspace, go to draw panel and click on circle now click anywhere on screen and make a circle of radius 5 units so you might get this a small or a very large circle let's double click your scroll or middle mouse button so this will position a circle in the drawing area now let's go to circle again and click the center of the circle which you have made and again make a circle which is smaller than the previously made circle now I'm making an approximation here so you also don't need to be very precise just take an approximate circle which is smaller than the previously made circle go to circle again and go to the same center which you have used previously and make a circle again with the same center now again we need some approximate dimensions for the circle as well okay now we're done let's go to rectangle now so go to rectangle and this time let's turn off this object snap because this might lead to snapping of your cursor at unwanted location so turn it off now click inside the circle and make a random rectangle that completely falls inside this circle now go to fillet command on modify panel and select radius and select a radius of 0 0.5 units click polyline and click on any line of this rectangle but if you want you can change the radius of this circle and I want to change this radius a little bit more so click on radius again and change it to 0.6 and press enter and now click on this rectangle so we have all the rounded edges with radius equal to 0.6 now let's click on this home icon and we'll make some manipulations to this so click on move icon Select this smaller circle and press enter. Now you can turn on object snap. Go to the center and drag your cursor downwards. Make sure that it's following minus Z axis and enter a depth of point 4 units. So that's a, again an approximation here. I'm not making it very precise. Let's go to copy select this smaller circle press enter go to the same center or any other center if you want and drag your cursor upwards towards positive Z axis and enter 0 0.8 units and now you can press enter again now go to move command select this circle press enter go to the center and now move it upwards like this and take it upwards to a distance of two units okay so there we are now click on move command again select this rectangle press enter go to any point and move it upwards in this time you need to move it upwards by three units now copy it select this rectangle press enter click on any point and now again move it upwards to a distance of 2.5 units so here we have basic sketches for this earphone model so we have made all the basic sketches now take a look at all these sketches if they are appropriate so now we can go ahead with converting them in 3d model so for converting them into 3d go to surface tab and select loft click on the lowermost circle then the second one and then the last one you can see that right now I'm in 2d wireframe workspace you can change your workspace so press enter and enter again go to visual style control and change it to shaded or something else if you want now let's go to home and select extract edges click on the surface which we have created right now and press enter so this will create extra edges in the form of 2d geometries and now let's go and perform other tools so go to solid modeling and select loft again 
and in this case I'll select this top edge so select this top edge and select circle from here and now let's go to this circle and this rectangle and this rectangle as well so we have selected all these geometries and make sure that you select these geometries in the same order which I am following now press enter once you press enter you'll see that a grip appears here so click on this grip and now select normal to end section from this grip and now press enter again so here we are so we have made the top geometry for this now let's go and add some details to this. okay so now let's move on to solid editing and extract edges so click on extract edges click on the surface again and press enter so and once again we have created some extra edges and now go to surface select patch and click on this top surface so here we have and press enter now you'll see that this grip appears click on this grip and change it to tangent so this will bulge like this and press enter again so here we have this top profile and now since we have made some uh, changes we need to add even more details to this so let's go to this bottom view now here we are in bottom view go to home and change your UCS to view so here we have changed the UCS to view now we need to move this UCS as well so let's switch back to parallel so now we need to move this UCS so select this origin and now let's place your UCS at this point and now select this origin again and move it downward so it hardly matters where you place it just make sure that it is at a distance from this profile so now here we have it so again I will go back to this top view and I'll make some drawings in this top view so let's first switch back to hidden view and let's make some drawings so first I'll create a circle and I'm taking an approximation here as you can see that I'm not making it exactly at the center so let's approximate this and make a circle at the center of this profile so if you want you can place it exactly as well but that is not at all required so here we have the circle which is almost at the center now let's click on the circle again and let's make a circle at a certain distance from this and you can turn or snap off its creating if it is creating distractions so here we have one more circle at a certain distance but you can see that this radius is quite small compared to the previous one so here we have a circle with very small radius now let's go to polar array and select this smaller circle and press enter click on the center of this circle so you can press shift right click and select center and pick the center and here we have an array let's go to items and change number of items to 20 and press enter so here we have these 20 circles now let's go to rows and change it to 12 okay that makes too many rows so let's decrease this value from 12 to 8 and now that seems appropriate to me and in between so you need to change the distance also so change this distance to 0.4 units and here we have equally spaced circles now and you need to turn off associative so turn off associative and click on close array so here we have made some array circles you can select all these circles now select these circles and click on this home icon so here we have all these circles if you want you can turn back to parallel view uh, for the sake of clarity and now select all these circles which we have made again go to extrude and extrude these circles carefully so while extruding make sure that it just passes the profile and it reaches up to this surface and you can see where the cursor is so click at this central line and here we have it now let's use subtract so go to solid editing and click on subtract 
and click on this surface which we have created so click on the surface and press enter and continue so when this warning message appears click on continue and now select all these objects which we have created so for the sake of simplicity you can also select this crossing window and now press enter you may need to wait for a moment and here we have it some holes created on this and you can see that I left these profiles so I'll repeat the process again for these profiles so go to subtract select the surface on the top press enter and then you can select all these objects one by one so yeah here I made the selections and press enter so here we have this top profile now so now let's go on to this top face and add the final details here but if you want to change the visual style you can now go to visual style and change it to shaded again so I'll go on to this front view and now change it to view and again I'll make a rectangle at this position so let's go on and make a rectangle close to this and you can clearly see that I'm not making this rectangle on that profile whereas I'm making it at certain distance from this and now select fillet and select radius enter a fillet radius of 0.2 units and select polyline and drag your cursor to any of these lines and press okay and so now we need to move this so in order to move it click on this home icon and click on this top face and you can right click and change it to parallel view to make it more clear and here we have it here we have this rectangle so I hope you can see this clearly if you are not finding it here so you can change the visual style to make it more clear so go to visual style and change it to hidden if you want so here we have our rectangle and we need to move it so select this top view and now select move select it uh, select this rectangle again select this rectangle this polyline press enter click anywhere and move it to a certain distance okay we're done now go to this home icon and go to this top face and then click on parallel and again we need to position it at a correct place so select move again and select it and now move it towards right so now we have positioned it here so position it somewhat like this now go to extrude and select this rectangle press enter and extrude it all the way through this geometry now go to subtract select this 3d geometry and press enter and then select this geometry and press enter again so here we have this geometry subtracted from the complete one and go on and repeat the same procedure with a different type of geometry so let's go to this left view for creating another geometry and now I'll go to circle and make a circle here so now you can see that I cannot make a circle right now so I need to change my view and change your view first then go on go to circle and make one more circle here so now go to circle and make one more circle over here so here we have this circle again using the same process we need to place this circle exactly at the position that we want so click on this view you can turn it right click change it to parallel and now let's move it a little towards left but again for moving it towards left we need to change our view so make sure you uh, do the changes with this view frequently because without that you won't be able to move it so select it and now you can track it from this and you can move it using these gizmos also instead of using move command and move it downwards a little like this and press escape so here we have moved it up to an appropriate distance and if you want you can switch it to this position as well so now this seems appropriate to me now click on this home icon and let's go to top and let's verify whether it is at the correct position yep it's at correct position now go to extrude click on this circle press enter 
and take it all the way inside this geometry so you can click here if you want and make sure that it is up to this point so click here and here we have this geometry here so now we have made this earphone almost now to add final details let's switch back to parallel view and let's change our visual style to shaded and now I'll go to solid and select fillet edges and now select radius and enter a radius of 0.2 units and now click on this top edge and then you can see that the complete loop has been selected press enter and enter again so here we have added the loop use the same process for adding a fillet at this point as well so go to fillet edge enter a radius of 0.2 units so enter r and then a radius of 0.2 and click on this edge and press enter twice so here we have these final details so in this way you can make a earphone with AutoCAD 3D you can add wire and cables also if you want and you can add even more details to this so this is just a general idea of how you can make it the rendering which you see on the preview of this video is actually rendering created with Keyshot software so you can download the Keyshot software by googling it and there is a trial version and you can make completely realistic renderings with that as well and if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and as always thanks for watching